Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's wig was sent to me by Fox Wigs, so I thought it would be a fun idea to go ahead and show you guys how I style my synthetic wigs, because I know I do a lot of reviews on this channel, and I never really go over the styling part of it. So if you want to see how I transform this wig from this to this, then just keep on watching. Perfect. Now, this wig was sent to me by Fox Wigs, so shout out to Fox Wigs. Their packaging definitely was not expecting this. I'm used to, you know, just the traditional have it in a little bag with the info card type of vibe. But they uh, really had me shook when uh, this got delivered. <laughs> um, they also included a little wig cap in there as well. And today's wig. <laughs> It definitely reminds me of Kylie Jenner's Met Gala look. In fact, that's exactly what the unit is called. Um, so let me go ahead and take her out of the net right here. Now this is what the unit looks like and as you can tell, uh, she's got inches, honey, inches, okay? Now there is a slight curl in here. I mean, it's so, I feel like it's so beautiful. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and straighten this fully out just like how Kylie Jenner's Met Gala wig was as well. We're just gonna go ahead and recreate that entire thing today. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. The texture of the unit is silky. Um, on the monitor I'm looking right now, it looks a little shiny. Um, but in real life, it just has like a natural luster, so I don't know if it's my beauty light that's making that or what, but <laughs> um, overall it feels very, very soft. I'm running my fingers through it, and I don't seem to get any knots or tangles. It's literally like gliding right through it. Um, the lace that it comes with is seems very very soft actually it almost looks like a transparent lace because girl where's that lace at um i want to get closer and show you guys the hairline it seems very very nice i can't really see any major knots and i mean look how close you are to that camera that's literally insane to me um but i think it is just a little bit dense Especially because I'm gonna go right in here in the front and make some baby hairs uh, I just want it to look really really natural Also before we get started. I do want to show you guys that inside cap construction You know, that's one thing that I really really value on my channel um, So this is a look at the inside cap construction You can see how much room you have to play with your parting which I'm very, very excited for. I think I might do um, a couple different styles with this unit. So there also comes with three combs, one in the front as well, and two on the sides. Now the inside weft construction, very, very nice and neat. There is a nice thin mesh layer over the weft, so you're not going to have any hair that's pulling it through or anything like that. And again, honestly, if a wig does not have adjustable straps, now, honestly, I don't know what else to say besides get adjustable straps. Um, so definitely glad that it has some adjustable straps right in the back. Um, I would say this would probably be big head friendly because it keeps falling off my mannequin. Now the weight of the wig does seem a little heavy, but we're gonna work with that so yeah so let's go ahead and get to plucking this hairline all right so before we get to plucking the hairline what i'm going to do first is take out a very very small amount of hair around the perimeter of the wig so that way we can make some baby hairs and help conceal this lace for later on you definitely want some clamps to hold some of the hair back especially with this wig. As you can see, the hairline is very dense, so what I'm gonna do is take my comb and part behind the original hairline because that's what's gonna be showing. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because once we start pulling some hair out, we don't want there to be any type of bald spots or anything else like that. We just want to 
decrease the density in the unit, not to create, you know, some patches. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and start combing this back. And as you can see, it is very dense. So there's a lot of work we got to have to do. Now, what I'm taking is some tweezers and wrapping the hair around my finger and pulling very fastly in order to take some of the hair out. You only want to take very, 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 very small sections of hair. Do not take big sections because you will run the risk of ripping your lace and you definitely do not want that. I want you guys to also notice that as I'm pulling, I am keeping tension onto the lace so that way it will help it to not rip um, and it makes it easier to get a clean pull of the hair out of the unit. Now, as you can see, the before and the after, honey, it really does make a difference. So if you have a wig that you have a little trouble with, you know, go ahead and try this. That's the amount of hair. It looks like a lot. But anyway, the wave pattern on this unit looks so beautiful. But today, I do definitely want to show you guys how I just straighten them because it's super, super easy. And a lot of you guys don't really know that there are heat resistant units, synthetic units out there. So. Um, what I like to do is use the chase method. I make sure I detangle my unit um, so there's no knots and then I put my comb underneath and slide my flat iron down the unit as well. A lot of synthetic wigs are only heat resistant up to 400 degrees so be careful of that. Also, don't take forever to slide the straightener down the hair because you're going to run the risk of melting it. Um, just go ahead and glide it on down. If you need to pass over it again, do it, but it's better to, to go over it one more time rather than going too slow and run the risk of burning your hair. Um, so now, yeah. I think it was really, really easy to straighten. I went ahead and parted it, and I love the natural volume that it's giving me from those roots. Like, honey, what are we doing here? It looks so beautiful. Just look at her. Perfect. Now, also, I noticed there's a little bit of shine, so I took some dry shampoo and spray that along the synthetic unit. If you have a darker unit, I would suggest using a brown tinted dry shampoo to avoid any type of like white casting over it. Here I'm just sliding the unit on and beginning to cut my lace. I do want to mention I do not cut all the way to the hairline. That is one mistake I used to make all the time when I first started getting into wigs was cutting right against that hairline. But there's nothing that you can lay your wig down with. So you do want to leave like at least a couple millimeters of lace so that you can actually stick that onto your um, skin to lay your wig down. And I'm just taking some um, freeze blast and making sure my wig cap is sticking to my hair. And then now I'm taking some got to be glued gel as well and just giving it a more tackier base. all around the perimeter of my head as well as on my skin as well exactly where the lace is going to be sitting and then I let that dry for a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and start pressing that down as well lining that up looking at the hairline I definitely probably could have went back in a little bit more and thinned it out but I think it looks pretty good. Perfect. Now for baby hairs, I'm going to just use the same got to be glued, um, the black gel and the black packaging and just slay my baby hairs any way you like. If you don't like baby hairs on your unit, you don't have to do it, but it just helps me because it's easier for me to hide my lace. And then I go ahead and take a silk scarf and wrap my hair and let it sit for at least five minutes. Take it off and we are done. Honestly, I like this method of holding my wigs down because it lasts all day. As you can see, it's not going nowhere, honey. 
And then the removal of it, honestly, is so easy. You just spray your hairline with water. And there you go. I do plan on definitely putting some waves in this unit and styling it a couple different times. So if you guys want to see some more videos on that, just comment down below and I'll make some for you. Because y'all know I got y'all back, girl. Okay. But overall, yes, the color, honey, the volume, everything, your girl, <laughs> she was feeling herself, okay? But anyways, if you guys want to check out this unit, I'll go ahead and leave everything down in the description box below. So go ahead and check her out, honey. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I just want to take a moment to shout out to all my subscribers. I've been getting so many new subscribers within the last few weeks where I'm just like what is happening so thank you guys so much for showing me love i really appreciate it but yeah that's it for this video guys if you liked it don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one